Hey, 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 welcome to another episode of Hidden Gems. This one is called Odds and Mods. So we're going to talk about some odds and ends and we're going to cycle through them pretty quickly. I'm also going to feature a modification that I had to do on the Gorelic extension pole. So let's get to it. Let's run through it. And I know you'll enjoy this because there's a lot of these little uh, items that can really speed up the process and improve the quality of your window cleaning. So let's get to them. Hey, hey, hey. And so what you're looking at here is a track and sill cleaner. And so the way it works, this is usually uh, very useful on residential. And so we have a good amount of dust in there. And you can just, you can see and hear all that stuff coming out. Now this isn't gonna get everything, but this is really good for like, uh, stink bug nests and it does get a good amount of the debris out there out of there after a while the uh, the t bristles will will start to fray but it's also good getting stuff up here and down here if you uh, that's usually where these bug nests reside pine needles all sorts of leaves, acorns, acorn shells. You know, this isn't going to be like a steam clean of the sills, but if you want to just get a quick uh, clean out, this is a nice little tool to have. And you can find it at shopwindowcleanresource.com. Here's a little knickknack called the screen out. And when you're working outside and you need to pop the screens out and you'll never be able to get your fingers in there, you can just pop this in, and it just gives you a finger hold. And the springs are at the top of this screen, so we'll just push it up, just give it a gentle little nudge, and that is all, that is all there is to it. So another knickknack that is a great little addition to your tool belt is the screen out. You can find this at window cleaning, shopwindowcleaningresource.com. And then we have the Sorbo double hol holster, which has become a real favorite of mine. And it's a vinyl holster. It's got two loops in it. And there's two ways that I have utilized this that I find very helpful. Number one is putting my 10 inch accelerator in it handle down just like that and it's just very easy to slip in and out and the accelerator never falls out which is my main concern the other one is I have the 24 inch Stacconi and I'll just drop that right in like that and it's just the perfect uh, it does stick out a little bit, but still, it's better than if it was like that. It's just out of the way. And I'm finding that I can work without that getting in the way. So the Sorbo holster is another little knickknack that I found to be 
a hidden gem. Here's a little knick-knack towel called the Turkish towel. These, these come in white, red, and blue, and I've been using these as slop towels. They're very absorbent, and <clears throat> I would recommend either the blue or the white. They're not, I mean the blue or the red. They're not great for detailing, but they are great for mopping up on the floors and on sills, and so I've been using these uh, very consistently for the last two months. I really like them. They have the feeling of a bath towel, but they're just smaller. So they're very absorbent, they're pretty durable, and I would recommend the darker colors because it doesn't show the dirt up as much. So this is a hidden gem. I didn't know much about the Turkish towels, but now that I've been using them, I love them, and I will continue to buy them uh, in either blue or red. One modification I wanted to show you was with the Gorelic pole. And the simplest modification would be to uh, take this tip and just put a wooden cone on it, or you could just screw the Pulex multi-tip right onto it, and you'd be able to put most handles on there. It doesn't work with the accelerator, and so what I did with the Pulex multi-pole tip, multi-purpose tip, I put this on the pole, I took the accelerator handle, and I slid it in, I drew a mark, took a drill, drilled a hole through one side and then I took my uh, one of the clips from an extra pole you could use an unger uh, I think this is an unger spring clip that you can find at shop window cleaning resource and just slid that in like this now you can see it doesn't really stick out that far but it's the best one out of all the tips that I tried and so if we just slide that on like this, twist it on, slide that on like that, it locks into place like that. And so that's what I've been using. Now why is it, why is it, work, why is it that I would go through all that trouble to make those modifications? It's because of the pole. The pole I feel like is worth it. This is so light and it's so easy to use. I said I gotta figure out a way to be able to use it with the accelerator. Now you could also use, what I was using before was the Mr. Longarm pole tip. It's around here somewhere. Um, that just twists on too. So you could use that. It's just that, you know, you can't bear down hard on the window because then your squeegee will start to twist on it. There's no spring clip on there. So that's the modification for the Gorelic pole. Here we have the Unger Fixie Clamp, which you may have heard about, but not really understood what it was. Well, here it is. This fits on the end of your pole, and just by twisting this collar, you can open or close it, so you saw how wide open it was, and then you can close it down to this. What might you use this for? Well, for a long time, I was using, I'd use a huck towel like this, I'd fold in half, fold in half, and then fold in half. And then I would clamp it inside like that, and use that to detail on my pole work. Now, you might want, you notice that I put the folded end inside, almost like the binding of a book. The binding goes inside, close it like that, and then you can flip, you know, like this if you want, you can flip like that, like that, or you can even uh, fold, unfold it like this, and your rag will never fall off like it would if it was just wrapped around the tip of your extension pole. So it fits, this is an under tip right here, under red. You can see it's got the deep ridges on it. And so if you just put that on like that, that is not gonna go anywhere. Uh, Pulex tip, this is Mr. Longarm tip. You got the Sorbo tip, and that's really tight. That's a good tip, by the way. You could also Oh, I got a walnut scrubber here. You could also throw that on there if you needed some abrasiveness on a pole. So this is the Unger Fixie Clamp. It's a knick-knack. 
that is useful and check it out at shopwindowcleaningresource.com. Thank you. So what you're looking at here are the Unger green clips. These would be a replacement to the brass clips that you would put in the channel for your squeegee rubber. And so they come in packs of 40. They're plastic. And so in order to take them off, you just, uh, if you have a pair of scissors or anything, but they come off easy enough. You see there that one end has, is just uh, a slot. And then the other end has like a little stop on it. So that top, that top side has the stop on it. So the bottom side is what you would slide into the channel. So let's do that. So I have an aluminum channel here, 18 inch, with Pulex rubber. And all you'll do, you're gonna want your rubber to stick out maybe a millimeter, a couple millimeters. You don't want it flush to your channel. So it's got these teeth that will grip the rubber. As you can see, just a couple millimeters away from the edge of the rubber. And then we're just gonna slide it in like this. The stop will hit the channel and then it will look something like that. And if you want, you can put another one on the other end. So, break that off. And then in order to do that, you're gonna have to pull it like this. Make sure you have the right end. A couple millimeters inside the edge of the rubber, like that. And then you just push that down. Give it a good push. Right. And there you go, and, and then your rubber's not gonna slide. The advantage of this is, it's, they're not gonna corrode like brass clips will. I don't know, it may be more cost effective too, you may find. Now these these little tabs at the end, they will break eventually. So, uh, but you have 40 of them. And so I've been using these under green clips. I like them and I do consider them a hidden gem. One other knickknack that we have here is the Sorbo No Jam, Sorbo Jam Proof Pull Tip. It's got rubber O-rings on it that prevent your handles from sliding around. And the way to use it is uh, you have to put it inside and there's some these plastic ridges right here that you'd have to, you'd have to tap the top of this. Uh, these ridges will hold it in place and then it will lock into place and it's not going anywhere. This is universal to all handles, even the accelerator handle. Uh, although, you really gotta push down hard for the accelerator to stay on here. And I don't know how it would do if you were up really high <clears throat> uh, with an extension pole. But this is a great little pole tip and it'll work on a variety of different poles. And uh, once you get it in there, it's not going anywhere. So that's the Sorbo pole tip, another knickknack that's a hidden gem. And so one other knickknack that I want to show you is not really a knickknack per se, it's a channel. And it's the Sorbo Cobra channel. Uh, I've had the chance to use this in conjunction with the Unger Ninja handle and also the Ederay Pro Contour Plus Super System handle. And I love this hand, this channel. Uh, it, to me, it excels over the Quicksilver and also over the Black Mamba. It's got the feel of a Ninja, but it's a little bit lighter. It does have these these plugs here that I find I do like because when you're doing storefront and you're going against the frames, the, I don't like the sound of the aluminum against aluminum. So. This has the plastic end plugs and it doesn't create that noise. It's nice and light and it works really well. It's pretty stylish too. I mean, I like the way it looks. And this is an 18 inch. And so this also falls into our hidden gems category.